Flu season has a serious grip on Tennessee, and a new study by the CDC shows the country is failing to do as much as it could to slow the spread of flu, especially at child care centers. WBIR 10 News reporter Jim Matheny joins us to explain. Jim. Hey John, well, this is the first study that really looked at how many child care centers all across the United States require flu shots. Now, not many make children get the vaccine, and even fewer require the shot from the people who work at daycares. You want to go swing? Yeah. All right. Jill Guest and her two-year-old son, Nathan, enjoy the back and forth at the playground. Children his age spread plenty of germs back and forth, so she got him a flu shot. He did great. I didn't cry one single tear. He was a big boy. You know, the flu shot's not 100%, and I know that, um, but having the flu is awful. And I feel like if I can prevent him from getting sick, to me, that's the most important thing is protecting him as much as I can. But when it comes to daycares across the United States, a new study funded by the CDC says less than 25 percent require children to get the flu vaccine. I feel like when kids are in such a small space and people, too, things spread really quickly. So I do feel like it's important. And even a smaller percentage of child care centers, just 13 percent require the caregivers, the adults working with the children, to get the shot to help fight off the flu. Most of those are in states where it's required by law, a law that does not exist in Tennessee. That's upsetting, but I do understand that it would be a fine line because do you have the state for something like that, but at the same time you don't want to expose other children. It, that's such a hard and fine line to walk when you start making people do something that they don't necessarily want to do. When it comes to protecting our kids, you know, that's, that's a whole other ballgame. Right now, the CDC says flu activity is high across the state and many other states in the southeast. And it's the youngest children who rely on vaccinations to slow the spread of the virus because they're at a point where they cannot manage their own hygiene. Although Guest is doing her best with lots of back and forth teaching him to sneeze into his sleeve and not his hands, um, you know, but he's a kid. He's not going to do it 100 percent. So it's a group setting like that at a daycare. You can only do so much with so many. So protecting them with vaccines, I do feel like is important. And the CDC recommends flu shots for anyone older than six months. So far this month, East Tennessee Children's Hospital says it has already had more than 150 confirmed cases of the flu. John. Jim, thank you. The peak month for flu activity is most often February. The CDC says it has also peaked a handful of times in December, January and March.